We're unboxing two new species of Formictopus, or are we? Let's find out. Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. In today's video, I got a parcel from Skinny Legs Tarantulas and in that parcel was two new species of Formictopus in the hobby. Or are they new species? Now before we find out, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And let's show you that unboxing and rehousing of these two awesome species. So we're going to get right into it off the bat. I am not going to bore you with the unboxing. We picked these guys up from Skinny Legs Tarantulas. They came in the post. I opened them up, checked on them. They're absolutely fine. Now, as the title suggests, these are on appearance new species of Formictopus in the hobby but as with everything on this channel and my own interest in tarantulas and in the hobby I always 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 do my research now two of these we've got here as you can see are labeled Formictopus species Santiago del Cuba now, I looked into these, couldn't find anything anywhere, but I was doing research for a video that me and Tom Moran are doing on Formictopus, and I stumbled across a little article that, as you can see now, tells me that these are just Formictopus auratus, but they are found in Santiago del Cuba. So, in fact, what we've got here is two Formictopus auratus, just found in a different location. Now, this next one I picked up, Formictopus species El Salvador. Now, I can't find any information up on these. I've looked everywhere and I found a little bit on arachnables that says these probably aren't Formictopus. They're probably something like Pamphobetius or Acanthoscuria, just because these are found in South America and they haven't been found on the island of Cuba or the Dominican Republic or round about that region. So it's very doubtful these are Formictopus. So seeing this one grow up is gonna be very Im very 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 interesting but I could be wrong it could very well be a Formictopus species but right now I have no idea so if anyone does have any information on these and they want to drop me a comment or point me in the direction of finding out something about these then just type it in the comments or email me and yeah I'll go and check it out and I'll do an update in a future video to tell you guys what I've found. But now all that's been said, let's get these rehoused into these little pots. I'll give you a little look at them and yeah, we'll take it from there. First up, we are gonna do this species El Salvador, just because it's in my hand. Now these are nicely packaged they were nicely packaged I did get a few other things in the delivery that arrived but for the purpose of this video I rehoused them earlier just so I could focus on these three so unwrapping it mm, it's not a bad little size
be interesting to see what this little guy does look like once I open it up. Now it is. Mm, it does have the look of a Formictopus. So that's very interesting. It's got the blue coloration that you would expect to see in those Dominican looking Formictopus. Which is strange as this has come from South America. Go on buddy. Just wanna know. So it is in my hand. You just like to go down into your enclosure. And we'll give you guys a better look. And there it is. As you can see, it has got blue coloration that you would expect from Formictopus slings. It's also got some browns in there. This is the strangest looking Formictopus sling I've ever seen. This is Formictopus species El Salvador. So just like the Bayer Hibby that I've got in the collection, it is going to be interesting to see what this grows up to look like. Obviously I can't find any information on it at all. Now I know there are three species that have been identified in South America, but they haven't been confirmed. So, I'm really not sure what to think on this. So hopefully someone comes up with some information. So let's pop the lid back on this little guy. Sorry about the noises in the background. And let's move on to the two Formictopus species Santiago del Cuba. Obviously, I will label these Santiago del Cuba, but I'll also put in brackets that they are Formictopus auratus, just so I know these ones are from the location of Santiago del Cuba. Just pop the top off this. Tease this little vial. And this one looks like it again. This one looks like it's recently malted. So it's got the uh, it's got a shine to it. you into there and there it is in its new enclosure from Mictopus Santiago del Cuba should we get the other one Rehoused, I think so. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep these like all the other 
Mictopus in my collection. So the slings, these are gonna have slightly moist substrate. Now I've packed this down. Hopefully it will start digging into it. I will feed these every other day. My feeding schedule is Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. I will add tiny little water dishes to these enclosures once they are up and settled in because obviously all tarantulas need a water source. I will keep these at 24 degrees during the day and dropping that down to 18 degrees at night just to give them a little night and day cycle. Hopefully. Yep, there's the other one. There is the other one. There you come, buddy. One thing I love about Formictopus slings is they're not shy, especially at feeding time. These guys are not intimidated by larger prey. And I also love how much size they put on with each molt. It's amazing how how feisty these guys can get right now as tiny little slings they're not too much hassle they can be very bolty and as adults they can be very very temperamental now some of them are nice and calm and collected but there's always reports of feisty feisty species the, the ones that I'm thinking about are for Mictopus cancerides now my female is very defensive and she's very quick to turn around and strike threat postures and slap the ground and you know she's just generally being a nightmare but there's other ones like my Formictopus species green, full green, which is very calm and collected. So you just need to take that into account. Would I say these are a beginner species? No, just because they are a bit more feisty than say Brachypelma or Gramostola or any of the beginner species that would automatically come to your to your mind when you think beginner species and these do get uh, really large sizes we're talking seven eight inch diagonal leg span possibly bigger so they are a big formidable spider once fully grown and some people can find that intimidating. I absolutely love it. I do love the large species. But we're going to leave these now to settle in. So there you have it. Two Formictopus species Santiago del Cuba, which I do believe is Formictopus auratus, and also Formictopus species El Salvador. So only time will tell what that ends up being. It's gonna be fun keeping track of it. So there you have it, the awesome rehousing of two fantastic species. Now, after researching, like I said in the video, the Santiago del Cuba has turned out to be Formictopus auratus. But the species El Salvador, that is still a mystery. I found out that it is from South America, which does throw in some debate whether it is actually a Formictopus species, but we'll see as time goes by. Now this is the end of the video, but before we go, I want to take the time to remind you guys about the two giveaways we've got going on the channel. The first giveaway are 1.5k subscribers. I'll be giving one of you the chance to win five slings from my own personal collection. Now, if that's not enough, at 2K subscribers, I'll be giving one of you the chance to win everyone's favorite species, T. Celadonia. 
Now, all you have to do to be entered is be subscribed to the channel, go over and watch my Grammar Stone and Rosea video, and just comment T. Celadonia, and you'll be entered. So hopefully there's something you'll all be interested in, and you're running over there now, hitting the subscribe button, and watching that video just to write T. Celadonia. Really helps out the channel with all the engagement. Thank you if that's what you're doing, and thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far. So this is all I've got to say in this video. I hope you have a great weekend. Take care, and I'll see you.